Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fire Center. Hope everyone is well. Just to make sure. There's nobody okay. How many I got left? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Alright. I'm not gonna peek. I just lost count for a minute. Anyway, we're still working on that um, special series for Mercury Retrograde, even though Mercury Retrograde doesn't have very many days left. And Halloween is tomorrow. I just, I got bogged down with life again this week. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm really trying. <laughs> All right, who's next? Cancer, you're up. It's ready for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this last Mercury Retrograde of 2020. It resonates with you? Cool. It's your free will. Do whatever you choose to do. There's a message given by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your turn and I'm mine. I just read the cards. Fair enough. If it's not resonating, leave the cards on the table and walk away. It's not your story. It's not your message. Just keep in mind... You can check your moon rising your Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. Time and energy are both fluid, so if the events of this haven't played out yet, they may still. I mean, post-shadow lasts, like, what, three or four, maybe five days after Mercury goes back direct. So they could have already played out earlier on, closer to the beginning, or the pre-shadow portion of it. I mean... And energy is fluid and all things can, maybe vice versa. So this may even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. So the person on the other side of this connection. Is All right. Also, just a friendly, gentle reminder. If you were under the age of 18, do you really think this is appropriate for you? Some of the words that come out of my mouth aren't exactly child appropriate, and some of the things we discuss here at this table are not appropriate for young ears. So, if you wouldn't mind, click off, come back and see me when you're 18, okay? You're a beautiful soul. Don't think I don't appreciate you, but I have to do right by the kids, okay? And the parents, and my fellow YouTubers. So, here we go. Cancer, who's coming back to haunt you? Knight of Pumpkins. You see that pumpkin? Do you know what's in that pumpkin? Hmm. That pumpkin could very well hold an apology. <laughs> So, it could be someone who has something to apologize for. Maybe you're the one who owes the apology. I don't know. All things being fluid and vice versa, you know. But, I'm... We'll clarify it in a minute. What happened? Queen of Pumpkins reversed. Uh... Ooh. I'm hearing somebody got cut down. Somebody got put down. Maybe someone's worth was questioned. Maybe that's when it all fell apart. What's going on right now? Five of bats reversed. Everything is scattered. I don't think there's much communication going on. Everything's scattered. There may have been a harsh exchange of words or someone's trying... I'm going to shut up. Why are they coming back? King of Imps. Okay. Let's clarify before I say another word. Could be an earth sign. Could be an air sign. Could be a fire sign, Cancer. Never source and spirit. Can I get some clarity in the cards and stuff for my Cancer friends? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this last Mercury retrograde of 2020. 
two more and we can have it. There's salty feelings and not so happy memories, so apologies may definitely be in order. Somebody got all their cups knocked over, all six of them. Hmm. All right. Why is the Queen of Pumpkins reversed here? Hi. Six of swords. Oh, wow. One more. Cutting down, moving on. King of coins upright. A lot of coins here. This may have had something to do with money or... I'm hearing the phrase other side of the tracks and I don't know why. Opposite sides of the tracks. Okay, why is the five of bats reversed here? Five of swords upright, why do you do that? Five of blades upright. Someone may want to communicate, may want to pick up the pieces, may want to apologize and not know how. This is also a leveling of a playing field. One more, please. Ten of rods reversed. They can't release a burden. They want to release it. They want to get it off their chest. They want to drop the sticks and they can't. They're very burdened by this. So why are they returning? King of imps. Hey. Hierophant reversed. Magician upright. Two more. Queen of Rods up. Four of Swords reversed. They can't lay it to rest. The King of Wands is by nature very fiery. He's very passionate, yes. But he's also like, conquer it. I don't even care if it's not mine. Just on with it, and whatever happens, happens, and they're impulsive. And even if it ends up not being in a blessed union, and they end up not feeling the same way, or you end up not feeling the same way about them, 
And they just, they can't, they're restless. They can't release this. They just want to be able to like come out of that cage of their own thoughts about it. They haven't let this go. You know, they want to try to manifest something new, but it doesn't matter to them how they feel. They just need to get it off their chest. They feel bad about what happened. All right. How do you feel about it? Eight of bats. What do you think about it? Five pumpkins. What are you going to do about it? That's a hard decision. Why is the eight of bats here? Take it. The sun reversed, the moon in the upright. That's not creepy or anything. No, not at all. Not at all. Not at all. How do you feel about this, Cancer? This consumed you. I think you feel the connection. I don't think you're doing anything about it. Because there's way too much that's unknown. One more on that. Why is the moon here? I saw it in the upright, so that's the way we're going to keep it. Strength. I saw it in the upright first. Three major arcana lay in there. This is definitely a soulmate connection. Hierophant and magician down here. You were too different. You were too different opposite sides of the tracks. That's how you feel about it. You didn't see the differences at first, but now you do. And you're just too different. I think you may have been consumed with trying to impress someone or trying to be someone you weren't. That's a strange energy to be in strange energy. I think it definitely left some salty tastes and some mouths. Mm -hmm. Some cups, cups got kicked over. Oh, wow. Why is the five of cup pumpkins here for oh, cancer? What cancer thinks about the situation? up right out in the cold willing to talk king of rods reversed but you, you don't think it's going to go anywhere I don't think you want it to you're willing to talk you're willing to have a conversation you're willing to have the anything that needs to come off chest come off chest but you're not it's not going to go anywhere you're not going to open the door and let them in. You will come outside and talk, but they're not coming in the house. That's, that's how I'm feeling about this. I just heard I wasn't good enough for you the first time. I hate feeling like that. I hate feeling that. I hate hearing things like that. I hate being in that energy. Oh my gosh. 
why on earth would anyone be made to feel like, whether intentionally or unintentionally, they weren't good enough? Oh my gosh, who does that to somebody? Yeah, somebody's got a lot to apologize for, because that's some crap right there. I mean, you can tell I'm trying really hard not to swear right now. Why is the two of bats reversed here for what Cancer's going to do about it? Wheel of Fortune in the upright, you're letting the chapter end. Whatever ends, ends. Whatever begins, begins. It is what it is. Your advice. Page of bats in the reverse and the knight of bats in the reverse. I don't even know how to read that as advice. That. Until it can be an honest conversation where everything is let out, I would not open that door. I, I would keep communication minimal or blocked until it can be truthful, honest communication where nobody's getting cut down. Four of Pentacles in the reverse, Ace of Bats. Yeah. Next. Seven of Pentacles and the Ace of Rods, World in the Upright, Temperance in the Reverse. When the time is right and the energy between you is flowing in a, in a positive way and there isn't this negative fighting and arguing and I'm not even going to let you in my house and I wasn't good enough for you the first time around stuff. When that isn't there and the energy is more positive between you, I would move forward with it then, but now is not the right time. Now I think this just needs to come to a close and let time tell the tale. But do whatever you're going to do. I mean, it's not my life, it's yours. It's not even my story. I'm just reading cards. Okay, Cancer, I love you guys. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for stopping by. I love you. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to each other. And let me know if this resonated because this was some kind of weird soap opera movie of the week deal. I don't even know what this was. All right. I think I'm done with the retrograde readings for the night. I'm sorry. I still have to do the weekend top and bottom. So I'm going to post these. And who do I have to get done still by Halloween? Oh, gosh. According to this, I have four. Okay, so Aquarius, Taurus, Capricorn, and Pisces. All right, we'll see what tomorrow brings. So, okay, thanks for stopping by, and I will catch you guys later. Be blessed.